In this video I'm going to show you how to restore a 120 gigabyte iPod Classic 5th generation to factory settings. Now the first thing you have to do is to connect the iPod to your computer using the sync cable. Now keep in mind you're doing this because your iPod's not working properly, it's not syncing music properly, or maybe it's formatted with a Macintosh and you have to format it back to a Windows computer. So you're going to have to restore the factory settings to accomplish this. So as you can see, I'm in iTunes now. I connected my iPod Classic, which is right here. It's connected to the computer using the sync cable. Now what I have to do is, using my netbook here, move over to restore. Click on the same version, click on restore. You should get the latest version, but if you don't, it'll still restore. It's rebooting now. Okay, there you go. Now it's going to reconnect as you see on the iPod screen. I just wanted to mention, like I said before, you should have the latest software. This wasn't connected to the internet, so before you restore, make sure to update to the latest software and then connect it to the computer to restore afterwards. But you can always do this again a second time, it makes no difference. And there you go. Now your iPod is connected. You can also name the iPod now, whatever you want to name it. Now let's start to sync music. I have the option to automatically sync, so let's go to Done. And now it's syncing music. There you go. Six. Now all we have to do is disconnect the iPod by clicking that little button there. And it's okay to disconnect. Let's check it out. Let's see if the music is on there. 20 songs, there you go. So there you go, how to restore your iPod 120 gigabyte fifth generation classic to factory settings. I hope you found this video useful to you. Please show your support for the channel by subscribing. Feel free to leave comments and rate this video, and thank you for tuning in.